I tell you that I want neither Spanish nor English as the language of our government. The Philippines must have a language of her own, a language based on one of the vernacular tongues. I am speaking as president, as a Filipino, not as a letter and alumnus. Gentlemen, many of the difficulties or defects now existing here are due to the fact that we have not a common national language of our own. The desire to imitate everything alien without knowing whether that which we are trying to imitate is good or bad, is due to an evil, to the lack of real national soul. A national soul cannot exist where there is not a common language. We shall never have any genuine national pride until we have a language of our own. We shall always have that sign of inferiority. Copying is all right, but we must copy only what is good, what is adaptable to our idiosyncrasy, and reject what is bad. I never realized how terrible the lack of common language is until I became president. I am president of the Philippines, I am the personal representative of the Philippine nation, the Philippine people. But, when I travel through the provinces and talk to my people, I need an interpreter. Did you ever hear of anything more humiliating, more horrible than that? I am all right when I go to the Tagalog provinces, because I can speak to the people there in the vernacular, in Tagalog. But if I go to Ilocos sir, I am already a stranger in my own country, I, the President of the Philippines. I, a stranger in my own country. How can I tell the people what I think and feel when in order to do so I need an interpreter who, in the majority of cases, says that he wants to say and not what I have said. That happens, because sometimes the interpreter, either because he has not understood me or because he cannot think of words in the vernacular expressing what I have said, says whatever occurs to him. How often have I not said to someone interpreting for me in Tavizayan or by call, you are not saying what I have said. I am agreeable to having English continued in the schools and I am going to advocate that Spanish be continued, too. But I say that the time has come for us to have a national Philippine language. Until we have that, we shall not be a people.